Hey guys, this is the first video of St. Louis Homebrew. I'm the host, Rich. Um, this is my first brew. This is going to be the Irish Ale. I'm going to be bringing a lot of how-tos, how I use the extract kits, and other things of that matter. I am brewing right now. Uh, I have 20 minutes left to steep the grain, roughly about 15. Uh, I'll steep for 20 minutes, or unless it hits 170. Uh, there's the grain bag. I am drinking on a good bottle of uh, moonshine. You know, you got to have that on hand. Uh, I will be bringing updates, my failures, what I did wrong, what I shouldn't have done, uh, just those things. I am heating up the, the malt right now. Keep it nice and warm so when I dump it in. I got the deluxe starter kit, the Northern Brewing starter kit. Here's everything I'm about ready to uh, get a bucket of star sand going. Like they say, you got to sanitize everything all the time. So that's one thing I'll be bringing to you guys. Uh, if you guys want to check out a good couple good brewing uh, tubes, uh, Craig Tube, he's amazing on the home brew. He does a bunch of different types. I'm only going to be messing with Astrak, the Astrak kits. Uh, I'm not going to get into the Mini Mash or the uh, All Grain. I'm just going to be doing the simple, you know, already done for you. No need to mess with that yet. I'm still learning. But I'll be bringing you the how to's, what I did, what I liked, uh, possible kegging in later episodes, and just homebrew goodness, you know, and bring you the final verdict on a lot of things and show you what I know and what I'm learning and bring you all my mess ups because it's not legit if you don't mess up and you don't show them so there you guys go there's a beginning video not too long this is St. Louis Homebrew and I'm Rich the host I'll see you guys later hey guys give me a little short added little review on <clears throat> these hops it's the Willa Meat Hop Pellets, the one ounce, 5% uh, alpha acid. Just the smell of these hops is simply amazing. Uh, I didn't know how much a role of a hop had to play. And I gotta say, I could literally drink one of them. Like, they smell amazing. Uh, very... I don't even know what to say. Hoppy flavor. It has the ale, the the strong ale, hoppy flavor you'd get in an ale. Uh, that there goes. It, these are the hops that do it. Um, it's an amazing hop. I recommend this hop. Um, I love the taste of this hop. Uh, you, I will be doing my own recipes, writing them down, and this will be an addition in, to one of my recipes. Uh, a little short review added on to the first video. Um, I'll probably have a couple more. I'll probably do a review of this one before I add it. The U.S. Golding Hop um, with the Alpha Acid of 5.2. Uh, stay tuned and I'll be bringing more a little review on the U.S. Golding Hops Pellets. Alpha Acid 5.2. These do not smell as good as the Willamette. If I'm saying it right, correct me if I'm wrong. They do not smell as good as... If I'm saying it right, right there. The Willamette meat. The Willamette. Willamette. We'll call them the Willy Hops. The Willy Hops smell a lot better. They smell like how an ale would if you popped it open. Uh, these do not. These have more of a calm, more hidden aroma, I would say. Uh, yeah, not as strong, I should say. Um, these are another good hop. Um, I will be ordering a lot of different stuff through Northern Brewer. Uh, I do recommend them. I recommend Austin Brewing. They do uh, brewing uh, commercial beers. The replicas. Uh, those are nice. I'm actually getting the Blue Moon one next. This is the Wart. Uh, the Malt Astrak has been added. And the Willamette. The Willy Hops, we'll call them the Willy Hops. The Willy Hops have been added also. Um, I did not have a boil over. I continuously stirred to make sure that would not happen. 
that is the point where I'm at. I have approximately 15 minutes left before I add the U.S. Golden Hops. Then I will boil for another 30 minutes. I am actually draining the sanitizer solution now. I'm going to remove everything. Uh, I did sanitize this as well. It is sitting in solution. Uh, I have to remove that. Add two gallons of cold water. Um, then I'm going to, I want to say filter, I'm going to strain the wart so not a lot of the crap gets in it. Um, then I'm going, well first I'm going to cool the wart, then strain it into the six gallon fermenter. I have everything in here sanitizing. So, there you guys go. Another little update for these hops, the U.S. Golding Hops. That's what I'm doing a little review on. It will be on the first. Uh, I will add all these together. It's probably a bunch of rambling. I will get better as I go along. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Morning after. Look at that. Good sign of healthy, healthy fermentation. A thick cruising line. I'm saying it correctly. I believe I am. The temp sitting right at 72 to 74 degrees. I don't think it's showing up on there, but yep. Looking good. This is the first home brew of the year. First overall, it's Astrak kit. It's Irish red ale. Looks a lot darker on there. But that cap is tan, not really yellow, cornish looking. It's an actual tan. Just the phone. That's just Sandstar put in there. Doing really well. Very happy with the way it worked. Hopefully it'll turn out good. I'll give you a final verdict when it's all finished and done and I pop that first bottle. Hey guys, this is the night after I brewed. Um, time, it's roughly 6 o'clock. The airlock is going pretty violently. Which is good. Got a nice solid head. The croisin is looking very good. It's a good, good sign of fermentation. And we got a ton of active yeast. Look at that. That is beautiful. The smell coming out of this six gallon fermenter is amazing smelling. Uh, nice blonde head right there. It's a little hotter than what I want. I brought it down into the basement. I kept it in my closet. Um, so hopefully the temp will come down. You really don't want it going over temp, but it seems to like it. So hopefully it won't change any flavors or color. It'll ferment beautifully and stay the same. Produce a nice beer. Um, I don't have a lot of sediment at the bottom, which is a good thing. You're just seeing the line. That's the line of the bottle so hopefully it doesn't have a lot of sediment I'm hoping it doesn't but you know I tried to filter as much as I could um, that's just a look I'll bring a couple more updates if any beer guys out there the home brewers experience ones think I could do something different or it looks good to you guys let me know this is a northern brewer uh, Astrak kit so it's the Irish red ale doing pretty good I mean the bubbler is just going crazy which is a good thing the yeast is moving the head is nice and thick it's looking beautiful I'll be giving updates and um, I will be giving full length videos of me cooking outside I just did the one inside because I didn't have propane so I will be doing full length videos start to finish on brewing uh, in correcting what I did last time and fixing everything so you guys can have a better experience you don't run into the defaults that I ran into but there you guys go I'll talk to you later and hopefully on my next kit it will be a Belgian white blue moon kit from Austin Brewing um, stay tuned and we'll get more videos out for you. See ya.